good morning everybody i am going to show you how to perform horizontal chopping for nuclear disassembly in FICO emulsification now this is a, a moderately dense uh, nucleus and uh, what i'm doing first is to complete my rexes and you do need to have an adequately sized rexes in order to be able to chop well especially for a horizontal chop where you would need to take the chopper under the rexes rim now once the rexes is completed what i'm doing next is performing a good hydro dissection in order to get a mobile nucleus and you also do a good hydro delineation so that you get an epinuclear shell what i do next is clear the superficial cortex and epinucleus uh, under the exposed area of of the rexus rim and i've taken the chang horizontal chopper below the rexus rim and under the epinuclear shell to the equator of the nucleus and uh, i now impale the phaco tip into the nucleus and then draw the horizontal chopper towards the nucleus tip and then away from it like a laterally reversed uh, l and this gives me the split or the cleavage uh, of the nucleus into two halves once that is done i have rotated the nucleus uh, to bring the chop segment uh, downwards or inferiorly and i'm again repeating the process to chop it into a quarter once i've got a quadrant i emulsify it this gives me more space in the capsular bag uh, i remove the second quarter and now the uh, the superior half is free to be moved around what i do now is impale the second half uh, and bring it more to the center and you can see at this point the iris is actually closing down on me but uh, since i'm able to move the nuclear fragment it uh, helps me to be able to get it out in an easy fashion now uh, the chopper that i'm using is the chang chopper and you can see it's like a microfinger uh, it's a, a modified lieberman microfinger and it gives you very good uh, uh, maneuverability and it's also very safe because of its uh, blunt tip there are also other good horizontal choppers available and these may be used as well However, with all choppers, it should be made sure that the chopper does not accidentally go above the capsular excess rim, where it can cause anterior capsular tears, entangle on the zonules, as well as cause zonulodialysis and other intraoperative complications. To avoid this, the chopper should always be passed below the epinuclear shell to the equator of the nucleus. I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching.